Hello everybody, my name is Cirk and welcome back to Crash Landing. We're back at our old base. We have not been here for a while. At least not on camera. I've been here uh, a little bit. But uh, we have not we have not been around here for quite a while on camera. This is where I started out. So amazing. So beautiful. But let's not spend too much time. Look at this. I think there's Endermen that can do that or something. I don't know. But for some reason those those logs like turned. It's really weird. I've just left left them though because I don't really care that much. Also, there's this is missing blocks for some reason. I don't remember taking that out. I don't know how that would have happened, but we are missing blocks there. Anyways, we are over here because I need I needed some grass, and I don't think I have any. Well, I know I don't have any patches of grass over at the uh, new base. Reason we need grass is because. Uh, there are three ways to get seeds in this mod. One way is to um, sift dirt in a sieve, and that will get you some of the seeds. Not very many, but a few of them, some of the basic ones. Another way to get seeds is to bone meal grass and then break the grass that comes from it. Uh, that will get you a few more seeds, but still not a ton of seeds. Uh, and then to get the rest of the seeds, I found out, you have to go around and uh, hoe up dirt like this. So now we're getting a bunch of seeds, and uh, we're getting a lot of the seeds that I kind of wish we had before. Like, uh, I don't know if we got any here. Uh, nothing real good here. I mean, cabbage. Like, there's a lot of recipes in Pam's Harvest Craft. And I haven't been able to do a lot of them because they require like onions or bell peppers. Um, I know I have onions in here. Yeah, onions, um, the the lettuce, the cabbage. They require a lot of those things. And I haven't gotten those seeds yet uh, until just now. Uh, but that's not really a big deal. I mean, I, I was able to make make do. And honestly, like with the, with the hunk hunger and the food in this mod um, it's very grindy I don't like it it's one of my least favorite things in this mod uh, just like the spice of life and the Pam's harvest craft mods I love uh, Pam's harvest craft adds all the different foods spice of life uh, makes it so that you have to eat different foods to stay alive um, but then we have a hunger overhaul mod that makes everything not worth very much hunger like I don't know I don't really have like potatoes I guess those are those are probably about the same, but that's only because half is like the least amount that you can do. Um, but like if you were to bake these potatoes, they would still not be worth very much. And so you have to really do a lot of uh, grinding just to get enough food to stay alive. <laughs> and so it's the way that it's set up, like the best way to stay alive and stay fed is just to find good foods that are easy to make and then eat like just stick to those instead of exploring the different foods that are available because um, most of the foods that are available are just not worth it you know they're not worth the pain uh, right now I'm using an extra utilities watering can this is another new thing uh, I kind of knew about it but I never used it before because I never really had had to or I, I guess I could have used it on that before but um, not really a big deal. It's a really cheap thing to make. It's like stone, uh, a bowl. Let's see, does it have it in here? It doesn't show it there. If we look at here, there. Stone, a bowl, and bone meal. Uh, and then you just have to right click on a water source. And it doesn't use up the water. It just uh, fills up the watering can. And then it goes until it randomly becomes empty. Um, and what it does is instead of like bone mealing the ground... It actually increases the the random ticks. It uh, basically speeds up time for growing things. Otherwise, this come on, hurry up and grow. <laughs> it still takes forever. But yeah, you can use this to grow trees. You can use it to grow plants. You can use it to grow sugarcane. I th I would assume. I mean, it it speeds up. I don't know. I guess I haven't tried that, but maybe uh, we could try it now. But I don't really need sugarcane. Um, but yeah, it's a very useful tool. Very useful tool. Uh, so so we can use this to make the grass grow black, grow back, and then we can uh, 
We can hoe up the grass again, although I don't actually need to hoe up the grass anymore. The only reason I was hoeing up the grass was to get wheat seeds, which we already have. Um, I've gotten already, and in fact, I started planting some wheat seeds over here, and I was growing some with this thing. So you can just kind of walk around, right-click on the plants that you want to harvest, and then just keep walking around, growing everything, and it'll just kind of speed up the growing. Very nice, very nice. And uh, the reason why we need wheat uh, and wheat seeds, and um, I'm also growing some carrots here, is because today, like I said, we're going to be starting the uh, the Creating Life quest. And so we're going to be getting some animals. And I want some wheat and carrots so that we can breed those animals. We're going to set up a little, little breeding system. Because uh, we also need to set up like a, a slaughterhouse to get some like liquid meat uh, for one of the other quests. Uh, we also need to set up uh, a sewer to get sewage for a quest. So we got some we got some stuff to set up, and I have some food now. I think I'm going to actually set up an automated food system though, um, a lot right by the breeder, so that we can hopefully keep enough food to keep our animals for fed. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna maybe grow a little bit more, and then we'll head over to the new base. This tank used to be full of mob essence, and then I changed out my power cables, my conduits. Oh, I was uh, I was spawning witches, uh, like you do, trying to get a bunch of redstone. And before with the hardened energy cells, I didn't have any problem. I had, like, witches would spawn in here at a decent rate, and my mob farm was going, and I was getting a surplus of mob essence. But ever since I switched out the cables, this thing can spawn witches very quickly, and they build up, and they build up so fast, and the uh, the grinder can't keep up. Um, and the mob farm stops working. Uh, I stopped getting mobs spawning in here because, like, the mob cap is reached by the witches here. <laughs> so then, since the mob farm's not going, I lose uh, mob essence. Which we do need for the creating life. Although, I do have... <laughs> I actually have two of these. Wow. Yeah, I have way more mob essence than we need. Um, but we're not going to do those quests yet. First, I want to get the uh, this room set up. This is the room that we're going to use for... Uh, for stuff. Do I have dirt in here? For our mob stuff. Or our animal stuff. I don't have dirt in there. Let's go grab some dirt. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of work trying to finish up the base. Like, I got this. Oh, we can go. Well, I guess we'll be on our way. Like, I got the uh, the power room down done down here. Pretty simple. Kind of like the rest of the base. Uh, I've sort of did this intersection still need to do that corner been kind of working on this a little bit um still have a lot to do here in the tree farm let's grab some dirt in here uh, let's head back and uh i did the the reactor room so this is all done got some fancy caution blocks around the uh the reactor and the turbine and I got some the cables somewhat hidden around here. And this thing's still working quite nicely. Very good indeed. Uh, so yeah, very cool. Uh, let's head back over to here. <clears throat> Hello, guy. Aha, gotcha. So, so, actually we should probably sleep real quick. Okay, so what we're going to have first off in this room is over on this side, we're going to have some potatoes and carrots growing here. And it should be pretty easy to set up a little system for this. All we need are some autonomous activators. And then we'll have to put a bucket of water there. Do I have... I got rid of my water, so I don't have water to put there. But that's what we'll do there. I think I'm going to create a couple more autonomous activators as well. And stick them here so that it goes a little bit faster. Uh, and then what we can do, let's see, I think I'm going to put a chest here and then a vacuum hopper right there and have that, uh, let's get rid of this stuff, have that go down into the chest. Um, there we go. So I think like that, there we go. So that should be items there. Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to have more autonomous activators and then we'll have a barrel I think right on top of there and we can have 
some item ducks. So then what we're going to have is just bone meal uh, in this barrel. And that will get pulled out, put into the autonomous activators. Where's my... There it is. And the autonomous activators are going to right-click on the potato or on the carrots and the um and the wheat and what am i looking for i'm looking for these and then once they're fully grown uh the when they right click on them it will harvest them just like it does uh when we right click on plants it'll just harvest them and then the vacuum hopper will uh suck that stuff up and put it into the chest and then we can carry it off to our breeder and we're going to have a breeding station or a breeding room over here. And that is the wrong way. I always place these backwards. There we go. So then we can hook that up to power. Uh, and then we can um, put an item duct under here or behind here or something. Maybe behind here would work better. Where is my stuff? There we go. Everything's so messed up in my inventory right now. Yeah, we can do just... Uh, I think item ducks coming right through here and we'll bring that over to the breeder and then we're gonna have a little five by five room here with that and so we can feed yeah this thing needs power so we'll have to have power going to it and then we can feed um, the potato or the not the potatoes the carrots and the wheat into here possibly the seeds as well we could have chickens and then I'm just gonna have some parent animals in here we're going to have some uh, some cows and pigs and possibly chickens, like I said. Um, actually, I wonder. We could do sheep as well. But uh, what I'm going to be using to kill the animals is a slaughterhouse. And that gives you liquid meat and pink slime. Um, which are two of, the, two of the liquids we need for one of the quests. One of our final quests. And I don't know if you can get the liquid meat from a sheep. I'm not sure if you can do that. It'd be cool if you can, but I have no idea. Uh, so we're going to put a chronotyper here. And we can look at like the areas for this. I'm putting this one block above because you can actually... Uh, <clears throat> this thing actually works like one block above... Um, so, yeah, you can kind of tell. They're both in this area. Uh, so then what I kind of want to do, or what, yeah, so what this chronotyper does is it uh, it will sort out the animals, basically. Uh, it will take the baby animals. We can set this to either babies or adults, and we'll have babies. It will uh, take any baby animals in this area, and then it will move it behind the chronotyper. And so what I kind of want to do is we'll probably make this area a little bit bigger. And I want to have, um, I want to make the chronotyper put the babies onto conveyor belt. Get out of here, you stupid spiders. Come down here. You guys are so annoying. You don't burn or anything. And you can stay right next to me so you never despawn. And you just you just hiss or whatever that sound is. Come back here. <clears throat> Come back here. I will murder you. Eh. Uh, you have so much health, you stupid tough spider. Okay, anyways. One more hit. Anyways. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make just like a, a conveyor belt that goes through here. And then it's going to eventually put them into a little 5x5 five five room over here. And then we can put our slaughterhouse right here. And the slaughterhouse will kill the animals. I think it will only kill them once they grow up, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure. I guess if it's not the case, then we could make another chronotyper that uh, moves the adults over to here. Um, and that, that would be like over here. So you'd have the babies over here. And then they get moved over here. But I'm pretty sure that the slaughterhouse only works on adults. Uh, but we can test that out. So we'll have the slaughterhouse murdering the animals and giving us the... Uh, whoops, I didn't want to click on with that. And it will give us uh, liquid meat and pink slime. 
which we're not going to do anything with because there's nothing much we can do with them. Uh, I think you can get, you can turn them both into meat. Like, I think the pink slime you can turn into um, uses. I don't know. I don't know exactly what you can do with it. I know you can, like, get actual slimes from it, and you can get pink slime balls. Like, I think the pink slime spawns basically pink slimes, and then you can kill them for these pink slime balls, which uh, work just like normal slime balls. Um, and then the liquid meat, you can... Let's see. Oh, where is it? Let's just do meat. Uh, when you get the liquid meat, you can send it to a meat packer and that will turn the meat into raw meat ingots which you can cook into meat ingots which is just a food but uh, uh get out of here <laughs> there we go um but with this whole hunger ho hunger overhaul mod like i was talking about like it it barely feeds anything so it's not worth the time to actually do that and we have our food anyways that we buy from the villagers so we just go we're just going to collect the liquid meat for the quest um so i'm gonna i'm going to kind of uh get this all roughed out uh so that we can at least test it make sure that works and then we'll do the the creating life quest get some mobs and uh do yeah do this stuff so here we are with our machines we got our autonomous activators over here with the plants i haven't put any bone meal in there yet so they're not really growing them yet um, but that's okay because we actually have quite a few crops at the moment um, so this is our breeding chamber and i forgot too that uh, i'm gonna put in these sewers because we also need sewage uh, so those just have fluid ducts coming out of the bottom into this tank here and then we're gonna close up this front part uh, and then mobs will get bred in here. The babies will get pulled out and go up the conveyor belt over to here. And then the slaughterhouse might murder them. I don't know. <laughs> or it's going to uh, wait till they grow up and then murder them. And then, oh, you jerk. We're not quite safe in here right now. Um, <laughs> but then uh, I got two pipes here. Yeah. These guys are so annoying. Then I have two pipes here. <laughs> one's going to be pulling out the pink slime, and one's going to be pulling out the meat. And I already have some, just because some mobs came in here. And I guess you can get liquid meat from them, so that's kind of interesting. In fact, yeah, there's some meat right there. Um, I need to get at least a bucket of them so I can whitelist them, so that they go to the right spot. Uh, where? What am I looking for? I'm looking for this. We can do that. And then that will put all the meat in there. We do have a bucket now, so we can at least whitelist that one. Uh, but we're still going to need this one whitelist. Although, oh, I could just blacklist. Yes, that will work. So, wait. No? Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> just invisible. We're all right. So we need pneumatic servo, pneumatic servo. Just to make sure that the liquids don't get crossed. So we want to whitelist there. And then... Over here we'll blacklist, and that will work. And then we can attach that, and everything will be fine. Alright. And then we can put that back in here. Yeah, you stupid spider. You take damage when you fall. I thought he died at first, but I guess not. Okay, so now what we need are mobs. Uh, mobs. So, we got some mob essence over here. We got our quest delivery system. Stick that down right here, and then we have our quest book to tell us what we need to do. We need 10 buckets of mob essence and one egg for a check-on. So let's grab an egg, or 16, that'll work. Uh, I suppose we have to, uh, we have to, like, because we have to do this with, uh, with the system. Wait, there we go. So that means we're going to need something to put the items in. So we can make a hopper or something real quick. Actually, I I have chess. Uh, I have chess here. We can just do that. And an item duct. I have item ducts. And we have pneumatic servos. A little bit more complicated to set up, but then I don't have to craft uh, the thing. Do that. And that. And 
that. Okay, so one egg into the system. Make sure that that worked. Yes. And then, um, oh, I was going to, dang it. Dang it. <laughs> it's going to put this right on top of here because then we can just do this and turn that on. Ah, it just took all of it. Stupid quest system. Uh, so now we can claim reward. Ah, that wonderful little to tone. And those stupid spiders. I am so sick of those spiders. So we got spawn chicken. And we'll just hold on to these for now. I some, well, yeah, we'll just keep them right up here. And we can empty this stuff. All right, I want to get, I want to be fast at this so that we can actually get this all done in a reasonable amount of time. So let's fix this back up. And do that. And that. And that. Okay, what's next? We now have all of these available. So we can do cow, which we need 40 buckets and eight leather. Um, like I'm wondering maybe actually what we should do. Uh, we could do, well, we could actually just, uh, I mean, we could do this. <laughs> oh, you jerk. Get out of my house. My house is never going to be safe here. My base. I mean, we could just do this. And turn that off when we need to. I'm afraid if I turn it on right now, it's going to just start sucking, <laughs> sucking stuff in. That's the one thing I hate about this quest, this quest delivery system, is that it just eats stuff. Uh, even when it shouldn't. Okay, so now we're all set up. We need leather, if I remember correctly. Is it just one leather or is it multiple leathers? Let's get this. That is not where I put it. What the heck? There we go. Okay, we need eight leather. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, that's got to be eight. I didn't select the task. And it just ate that. See, this is... I hate this. <laughs> Stupid quest delivery system. Okay. Let's get eight. Put that in there. Voila. And now if we turn this on and wait for the mushroom to go away. Right? Right? Is it... Or is it not going to pull any out of the... I thought it would pull out of the full tank, but I guess not. So we'd actually have to do that. This is so annoying. Just trying to get this stuff in here without having to worry about it eating everything. Okay. And now it turned off. Okay. Okay. I, I don't know how much we actually lost there. We might have lost a whole bunch. We might have lost none. Who knows? But we got a cow. That's the important thing. Uh, sheeple. We need eight wool. Let's put the leather away. Grab wool. Um, uh, let's kill this guy coming after us. So select task. Put it on there. Um, we need eight wool. Put that in there. Uh, we can... Let's see. We can put one of these on here. And then turn that to output. And that will put in there as well. So we connect that up. And wait for the mushroom to disappear. Which should happen sometime soon. There we go. That one's done. Claim reward. We have a sheep. I think we already have a sheep though. Pig. Seven... Rotten flesh, one ingot. We're not making a zombie pig, are we? What about, <laughs> not pig. Uh, rotten flesh. We got plenty of that. Do I have any golden ingots? Hey, guy. I don't appreciate that. Ah, dang it. Pushing all the wrong buttons. Okay. So, it was seven. And one. Oh, crap. Did not select task. Put that in there. 
one. Okay. Put those in. Uh, let this flow until it is done flowing. And stop. Hammer time. Claim reward. Awesome. Horse. Repeatable quest. Oh, we need oats. Oh, I don't have any oats. We'll wait on that one. Block of emerald. Just one of those. We can do that. Emerald. Meh. Make a block out of that. Put this stuff away. And that away. And then... Select task. Put that on there. Block of emerald. Uh, put that in there. How are we doing with this? Yeah, we still have quite a bit, I think. Wait to turn this off. And... These, these get uh, progressively more expensive, I think. I didn't look at what the requirements of mob essence were, but I think it's quite a bit here. There we go. Yeah, that one was 100 buckets. So claim reward. That was for a villager. We already have villagers, but oh well. Uh, this only needs 20 buckets, and we need two bones, two raw beef. So we're going to have to actually get some cows, which one thing we can do with that... Um, can, let's see. We have Safari Net. Get a cow. Capture him. Put him in here. Turn this on. And we get instant cow. We just need a couple of raw beef. Instant cow. There we go. Alright. We'll turn that fan on just to kind of clean those up. So now we should have some beef in here, I would assume. Beef, seven beef, okay. And then we need bone. So get some of those. Uh, let's select the task, and we need two bone, two beef. One, two, one, two. Uh, there we go, put those in. Turn this down. And, oh, turn it on. <laughs> Not turn it off again, but turn it on. And there we go. Awesome. So we got two more left. Wolf. Oh, yeah. Unclaimed reward. I suppose we should grab that. What am I doing? Open. Ah, I wish you could just double click on that. Claim reward. Ocelot. Four raw fish. We should have some fish. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's just grab four of those. Put this stuff away. And then select task, put that on there, uh, get the raw fish in there, turn this on, and turn it off, claim reward. Okay, so we just have horse, so we need uh, we need some oats, so I'll have to go gra go, uh, we should have some oat seeds from sifting the, or from uh, hoeing the dirt. I just need to grow some real quick. Okay, I got my oats, so let's select that. And we got uh, we got eight oats here, so four oats. And we need four leather, and then we can turn this on and soak up all of the mob essence. And, oh, that one just emptied. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. We do have another barrel if we need it, but we don't, so awesome. So now we can claim our reward, and we got a spawn horse and a saddle. So maybe we'll tame this. Uh, do we have? We have quite a bit of sugar. So let's put this guy down. Ooh, interesting color. Hello, hello. Do you love me? Do you love me? Love me, please. I don't know if this is working at all. Are you gonna love me? Yay! How fast are you? You are... N probably not bad. I have to remember that uh, I have my speed suit on and I have my field of view like turned way down so that uh, everything isn't like Quake Pro. So this guy might be kind of fast. I think I can run faster though, I must say. Uh, let's... I don't know, let's... I don't know where to put you now. Well, I guess we can we can pick you up with a safari net. Keep you safe. Wait, 
Oh, <laughs> that was weird. It's like it it made me ride him. Where am I going? This way, right? It made me ride him, but then, oh, but then uh, it put him in the safari net. Okay, so we got that. And I have a bunch of mob animal mobs, mobs, just animals, farm animals down here. Oh, I was going to also, let's spawn a wolf. And I got some bones here. Let's get a doggy. Hello, doggy. How you doing, doggy? All right. Actually, let's let's let you sit, just in case. We have some machines that like to kill mobs, so I don't know if they work on dogs. It'd be nice if they didn't, but they might. They probably do. Um, okay, so I got a bunch of mobs down here, and I actually I have some chickens in safari nets. I think one of these I need to save. Yeah, I want to keep one safari net of each animal. I do have two of pigs. So, I've already moved some mobs over here. Dang it, get out of here, guys. What are you doing back there? <laughs> ah, you jerks. Oh, invisible spider. Nice. Uh, I have some mobs over here, and the babies got pushed over here, and it looks like it works. Now, the these things are a little buggy, it seems, because uh, sometimes items go on there, and they don't get, like, pushed off the edge, like I would think they would. Um, so, there's that one cow who keeps like jumping back and forth but other than that it seems to work all right let's put pig in there and now you should be able to watch it breed those pigs maybe there it goes so bred those pigs there's the baby oh get out of here you're making me miss the show and then baby gets pulled and rides the conveyor belt Oh, he's fighting. He's fighting. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to, but he'll make it eventually over to here. And it looks like the uh, slaughterhouse doesn't kill the babies, so that's good. Um, so once they grow up, then that should murder them, and then we'll get that. And we got some mob essence here. We probably have more than we need already, which is nice. Uh, so let's get some chickens in here, and we can those can breed as well. Ah, you... God dang it. <laughs> There we go. <clears throat> so we got a couple chickens. Those should breed as well because we have some seeds in there. Get, where'd you go? What the heck was that? It just like disappeared. Is that pig still not making it over? Yeah, see, it it doesn't like to... These, <laughs> these conveyor belts are not the best way of doing this, I don't think. Because it, it sort of moves them, but then it doesn't. And they kind of make it. Oh well. Eventually they'll probably make it over. I, And I'm a little worried about these walls. I just have covers. Because um, I didn't want a big glass wall. And it seems like the mobs... They might be able to get through. But they should be They should be alright. Let's get you out of there, you stupid guy. <clears throat> ah, look at all this mess in here because of those guys. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to move a few more animals over here, and then we should be good to go. Uh, it does kind of seem like when uh, new mobs come in here, it kind of pushes the older mobs, because these were getting stuck for a while, and then I had a couple more coming through here, and then they got pushed through, so I think uh, I think it just takes, <laughs> takes them a little while to actually get through here, but eventually they do make it and head over to here. I was going to like close this off, because um, I was going to make a circle around here like I usually do. And so the circle would be uh, right... You're not actually out here, are you? <laughs> so the circle would be right through here, but I might actually want to leave this open so I can see... So I can see him. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll put like a glass... I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably just leave this corner open. That'll work. It'll just be that one corner, and then I'll make the rest circles. Uh, so... I think that's all we're going to do today. I will kind of finish this off off camera. And uh, next episode, we will turn in the liquids, our final quest, and that will be it. Ah, I mean, that's not all we're going to do next episode. There will be more. Um, but next episode is going to be the last one. We are all done here. We have done the quest. We have played around with the different, uh, lots of different mods. And I, I'm, I, I'm ready. It is time for us to move on to something else. 
So I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, one last episode, and then we will have... Uh, we will start something new. So I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And I will see you next time. Goodbye, peoples.